Hello viewers, this is Revealing Light Tarot. Um, I've had a number of questions uh, on the feed um, regarding if all the readers uh, were saying that um, Brett Kavanagh would not get nominated, his nomination wouldn't go through, then what happened? Why, did, why were the cards saying that? It's been something that has been bothering me for a few days now because I actually did a reading which I didn't upload the morning that... Um, the nomination was confirmed and it was still saying that he wasn't going to be confirmed at that time so um i you know i i'm at a loss um given that um you know we were putting the cards that would suggest that he he wasn't and that he wouldn't be so um i want to just do a reading on that tonight and just see so we can um, have a look at what might have occurred, uh, whether it was leaning one way and then, you know, things, negotiations, pressures were brought to bear and, you know, some another, and something else occurred. Um, and, uh, you know, and why? Because it really felt like it was rammed through when it shouldn't have been. Um, and why this is so, why was that so? Why the, why the, the, the like the push throwing everything at it despite the fact that it should not have been done why was why did that occur so let's just have a little bit of look of a look and um, I just want to ask the cards why when Kavanaugh when the cut when cards tarot readers indicated that Kavanaugh would not get nominated would not get his nomination through why did it turn out to be to be that way? Is there something else that we need to know? Kavanaugh nomination. Why was it successful when all indications were that it wouldn't be? Okay, let's see. I'm just going to lay, lay them out. Um, and then just have a look at what we get. King of Cups. Okay. I'm going to use two two decks and just see what else is coming. So what the actual story is. So when we look at the the immediate past of the situation, we have the the Queen of Swords. So the women coming forward. Um, so we're just I'm just going to deal with the actual what happened around the vote time. Okay, not not what happened in the past, but what happened to influence the vote and why it went the way it did. So the women were coming forward with the Sword of Truth. Um, the three of wands uh, indicates teamwork um, and teamwork around commerce. So, you know, you can see the ship coming coming through. So that 
when those women came forward, there was um, that that then presented issues um, uh, to, for consideration around the plans to get him through. Um, you know, the Four of Swords is indicating that, um, you know, there was uh, almost like um, Kavanagh himself was wounded uh, and, and then, there, you know, there was a situation then when people had to come together, but we'll get to that shortly and, and act very quickly. So here we see the rushing, the rushing of the nomination through, getting it through very quickly, the need to get it through before anything else happened. And look, the deciding factor was the push for victory, very much the push for victory. Um, and that, you know, the Ace of Swords in this case is, uh, you know, like new, new conflicts and new ideas. And there was a lot of thought that went into how to get him through and to get and bearing in mind getting, getting him through very quickly because he was wounded. And the Seven of Pentacles, again, this, this you know, uh, delay, the delayed, um, uh, the delayed uh, vote was a, was a concern. It, it, that delay was affecting their victory, uh, the victory that they wanted. And so they had to push it through very quickly. And I think that's why the FBI uh, ex uh, investigation was... Um, was uh, curtailed so heavily uh, there it, you know there was pressure brought to bear on that FBI investigation and again you know how many times in this reading I'm looking at now we're getting the three of uh, the three of wands um, which is that teamwork coming together they brought everything they had to the situation when these women came forward so we've got that we've got that card three times uh twice in this reading um you know because he was wounded Kavanaugh was wounded uh by the these women that were coming forward they threw everything at it they which which means that they put a lot of pressure on those republicans who may have been concerned about um about you know having a full uh investigation um though there was a lot of pressure brought to bear on the on those on the um on, on those republicans who may have voted you know to delay or may have been more comfortable with the delay it, the thing was you know pushed through very very quickly um and you know these are the um the emotions that were brought to bear on on this nomin you know on getting this nomination through and i mean this this king is um you know, well, he's a king, isn't he? And so it seems to me that that the the need to stick with the party for the party's good for the you know the 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 inter their interests um, in getting him onto that Supreme Court. There was a lot of that emotion put on those senators to vote a particular way, and the emperor in this case, you know, is Trump himself. Um, so. It was imperative that Kavanaugh get that seat, and and you know the pressure was coming from Trump. It was coming from the senators, and it was quite significant. Even though those senators, um, you know, may have been contemplating uh, doing, you know, because this sort of ace of swords, you know, tells us that that the victory uh, has been tainted by the truth. So even though they may have wanted delays, they may have wanted to, and this is the delay there, they may have wanted greater investigation and delays. Um, the, the pressure was to get the, get the investigation, get the vote done really quickly because Kavanaugh was indeed wounded and the nomination was wounded. Now, <clears throat> um, what they were frightened of, here we've got the... the Ace of Swords coming up again. Um, they were frightened of the truth. The truth had the power to to prevent the um, prevent the nomination going forward, and it was it, it, the the pressure that was brought to bear and and the reasons that it, that that 
we saw this was that the four four of shields is you know it's it's that desire for long term monetary security so his nomination and getting his nomination through was in was needed to to guarantee this long term security so i mean they're they're pretty obvious reasons as to why we saw what would happen uh, we what we we, we saw we saw the sword of truth coming through. I think in our readings we saw Kavanaugh wounded. Um, I guess what we didn't anticipate is the speed at which things were going to be pushed through, and the and the victory, the sheer weight of what they brought to bear. They brought the emperor. They brought the king of cups. They they brought everything. They threw everything they had at it to try and get this victory. The victory was the overriding thing. So, again, you know, why didn't our cards show this? Um, I think it probably did. Uh, if I go back and I have a look, I think the cards uh, and other readers may have shown that. And I think, too, we're, we need to see how this is going to pan out because his... his victory is very much stained and tainted and it's not you know it's not uh there's still more to come out on this if there was a proper investigation what would it reveal it would reveal that he shouldn't be sitting there um when i see him walking away um you know I I still get that vision and I still I still get that, that that hearing that nomination process and the way it was rammed through it will still be the um I guess will cause him loss will cause him to uh not to ascend but to descend um and that's the vision that I've still got of him and uh you know I I'm just going to ask the cards do we need to you know just be uh, be mindful of what's coming up in the future. What um, what could what could be uh, happening in the future with Brett Kavanaugh and and his seat on the Supreme Court? Will he keep it? Will indeed he face further investigation? Yeah. Well, this is the was the last card I think I got in the last reading I did on him, and it was the two of swords. And I I read it as having to balance the forces and uh, compromise and make a decision. And I threw other cards with that um, because I'm seeing having to compromise and make a decision. I I read it that that he it was indicative it indicated that he wouldn't get through but you know i'm pulling this same card again and i'm still unsure about what what this actually means and so what i'm going to do because it is the literal meaning is it's balancing the the two the forces and it's being in a double bind um and that it's time to to compromise and make a decision um you know gosh um let me go back to my visions and just see, does this mean an investigation or a judicial impeachment further down the line? What does it actually mean for Kavner? And is that why I'm still continuing to see him, um, you know, losing, at, you know, the, facing great loss? I'm just getting him with lots of papers and, and almost like he's appearing before the court, but I'm not sure whether he is uh, having to answer for something uh, or, or defend himself or whether he's actually on the Supreme Court. So at this stage, um, even though I'm hopeful that 
uh, he will face an investigation uh, and that he will have to answer for um, for the things that he did during that nomination process. Um, there will be some compromise, some sort of compromise around him having to balance the opposing forces. Does this mean he will step down? Oh, okay. Does this mean that... Does this mean that he will step down? Is that what I see, the descending stairs? Does this mean he will step down? Yeah, well, I mean, the Eight of Cups is um, withdrawal um, and abandonment uh, and moving on. Um, I asked that direct question. Um, I'm going to say these cards indicate, um, which which is really an important difference between these cards, you know, are what will happen or these cards indicate that he will be put in the future into a, um, a, 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 a position where he has to compromise and make a decision. This could be based on um, any sort of investigation he may be under. And he really will, he will be, he could be abandoned and withdraw, withdraw. This, I mean, this card is abandonment and withdrawing. And it could be that he turns and walks away. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, I don't know if that's useful, but it might it might answer some of your questions. Thank you. <laughs>